Hi everyone, my name is Raj Shekhar. Welcome to my channel. This video is about default DMX template of Unreal Engine and how we can use CAMSYS program to control the lights on it. People who are new to DMX lighting can utilize this template to learn and explore. This is compatible with Unreal Engine 5.1 and above. People who are just getting started with Unreal Engine and CAMSYS for DMX, check the description for basic tutorials you need to watch in order before watching this one. Download the Unreal Engine project file and CAMSYS show file. Keep a separate copy of it. Place the CAMSYS show file in Documents, Magic Q, Show folder. Run Unreal Engine map you have downloaded and run Magic Q CAMSYS as well. In CAMSYS, click on File, New, Choose Yes and then choose Normal Live. Again click on File, Open, Load Show and then load the CAMSYS show file which is DMX temp. Click full button to see all the controls. If you have installed CAMSYS for the first time, check the shots I have created to fix any issues between Unreal Engine and CAMSYS. To my left is Unreal Engine default DMX map customized for CAMSYS. To my right is CAMSYS program loaded with show file which has all the lights grouped and patched to control the lights in Unreal Engine. You can use keys from 0 to 1 in Unreal Engine to change camera angles which I bookmarked for you. I have about 7 pages of playback programmed for lights in CAMSYS. You can record your own custom effects to any empty playback slot. If you notice, Sharpies or Moving Mirror doesn't respond to playback fader or even when you try to locate them. What I can do is in Unreal Engine, select all the Sharpies from Outliner and go to Details and change the intensity once or set it to default and set it back to what value it was. Not sure why this is causing such problem but will update if I come across any solution for this. Could be a temporary uh, bug. You can follow the same process for moving mirror as well. There is a music playback in CAMSYS which rolls over to every page and this is kept for testing timeline method. Do not record anything to the music playback. You can check the basic video on timeline method from my channel. I have recorded 5 additional positions for Sharpie and Bosch. You can record more if you wish. To modify any pre-recorded playback, this is what you need to do. Press INC button, select the playback, change the desired attributes, it could be a color, gobo, and then press update which is UPD button. This is how you modify an existing pre-recorded playback. You can customize any playback of your choice. You can modify the text which you see on the floor by selecting it and editing the text field in details tab. I hope this video was useful to you. For getting access to this project file and campus show file, check the details in the description tab. See you all soon on another video. I'm Raj Shekhar, over and out.